Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds or the scary clown's gonna come out of nowhere and scare you super bad. I wouldn't risk it. Today I'm giving you guys a jump shot that can shoot from half court and I'm also gonna be giving you a lot of tips. So make sure to watch the entire video and let's get straight into it. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna be giving you guys a fire jump shot. So make sure to drop a like on this video and let's get straight into it. I don't wanna waste any of your guys' time that's just here for the jump shot. But if you are, man, make sure you listen to the rest of the video because I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot of tips. If you just listen for the jump shot, you're gonna be bricking, all right? So it is way Wade, Dwayne Wade, release one, 148, and release two, Larry Bird. Now, once you get into the custom, it is the exact same as my last jump shot, okay? It's not the same base, but it's the same customs in the same release speed with the same animation blending. So, on the release speed, you don't want to go all the way up. 2K Labs has already confirmed that your green window is higher right here. Not all the way very fast, but fast, okay? And you guys are going to have the highest green window. So, you're going to have the highest chance to green with this release speed right here. If you guys want to go up, it's not going to hurt you a lot, but just know that you're not going to get as many greens and it's already confirmed by 2K Labs themselves. So, let's get into the gameplay and let me explain some tips for you on how to shoot better in this game especially with this jump shot all right into the first gameplay you guys are going to be watching today these dudes came around a few times and they almost beat us like three or four times they kept playing us and they were very skilled at the game you guys can tell so not only do i have to get my shot at a perfect release i also have to get to my shot and do it so it's not like i'm playing bums and i can just easily set up my jump shot or anything that's why i'm showing you guys this first gameplay first because these dudes definitely knew what they were doing and i was still shooting very efficiently against them all right so once again, if you guys are, you know, longtime subscribers, if you're not, hit that subscribe button. I'm just going to say it for the new people, okay? Every time I drop a jump shot and you see me hitting the grite right there, the green white, it's going to be going around the community. Trust me, people are going to start saying it. Look, every time I talk about jump shots, people ask me, Badge, how do you do it? Whatever, you know, whatever. How do you get these tips? You have to use jump shot boost. Does not matter if you have a 95 three point rating, you must be using jump shot boost. That's the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys every time. And if you don't have enough VC for jump shot boost, I have a VC video on my channel, how to stack up VC and the top comment that I hearted is a very good VC method also. It's just how to get VC, you know, stack it up very easily. There should be no excuse that you go into the park with no VC and no jump shot boost because it only costs 150 a game if you buy 10 at a time. Now you see these dudes, they're playing, they're rapping, they're doing their thing and you see that I'm having to get these buckets efficiently in order for us to win because if I miss a bucket or two a shot we could possibly lose the game you see I'm coming down stopping green that easy that easy this shot is so nice okay now you guys might be asking badge plug that are you know you guys are long time subs you've been watching the vids you've been keeping updated Dwayne Wade was the first jump shot that I dropped on 2k21 I actually dropped it in the prelude of the game i figured out this was the best jump shot in the game and there was comments like oh badge plugs dropping a jump shot video in the prelude and then look the game comes out a bunch of youtubers are posting dwayne wade and now now they see that it's a good jump shot right now they do it even though i told you guys in the prelude you know what i'm saying I, i'm the plug for you guys all right but look i'm kicking it to my teammate in the corner he greens that 16 to 11 we got a little comfortable lead right now but definitely not you know fully comfortable we still got to go hard and we still got to win this game but anyway I actually started off this game with Dwayne Wade, and it was a very good jump shot and still is a very good jump shot. So you might be asking, Badge Plug, why did you take it off? Why did you go to other jump shots? All right. Well, the reason why I took off this shot was because I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like the cue. Okay. If you guys don't know what the cue is, it's like when to put the image in your head to release the jump shot. And it's just, it wasn't looking too good and I kept missing. And it wasn't because of the jump shot itself. It was because I couldn't get the cue down in my head, the mental image of where to release this shot. And this one is so much easier with these two releases. Now, my last jump shot was just like this. For those of you wondering, the same two releases, but a 98 base, okay? 98 jump shot base. So if you guys want to try that one out, go ahead too if you didn't see it. But look, I'm pulling up with absolute ease, man. Four for four six for six i even hit a midi you know what i'm saying with no stamina and this one is in the rush event right here rush one v one i've got two or three gameplays for you guys i was just going hard people don't want to guard me on my build i got to show them right away you know what i'm saying now look if anyone is new and you didn't see yesterday's video i was shooting greens pretty efficiently with a 72 three-pointer using the same base right here people were asking me in that video what jump shot are you using i was using Dwayne wade the same exact base okay so this jump shot 
you can go check out the video 72 three-pointer i was smacking them things okay so as long as you guys are decent at shooting this should be the best jump shot for you in the entire game all right 2k labs has already came out and gave out very good stats for Dwayne wade it is one of if not the best jump shots in the game and that's speaking statistically if you guys are new subscribers man i go deep into detail on some jump shot videos about 2k labs and who they are if you guys don't know who they are they have a modded controller they have a system where they can test every single jump shot right they can make every shot perfectly release and once again 2k21 is just like 2k20 all right, and you cannot green every single shot, no matter what your rating is, no matter what your three point rating is. Okay, so don't expect to watch a YouTuber's video and make every shot, it's just not going to happen because it's been already confirmed that it just can't. Okay, in 2K19, if you had a high enough three point rating and you had a correct jump shot on, there was levels to each attribute on which jump shot could green or essentially make every single jump shot 2k20 or 2k21 is not that way so you can go into games and you can make every shot you see i was up 18-0 i'd made every shot and then i was starting to mess around but you guys are going to see me uh do the same thing in a second and uh, it's a little bit different but in this game you just can't do that doesn't matter if you have a 99 three-pointer you see i'm green in that fade boys can i get a like on the video if you guys have made it this far and anyway what i was getting into is you're just not going to make every shot it's not going to happen Okay, you're going to see your favorite YouTuber miss. Doesn't mean they're trash. It's called RNG, meaning you can't. It's a random generator. Sometimes you'll get full bars and you'll miss. So give this jump shot a few games. And the way that I release this jump shot is at the top of the head. It's just like the last one. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to, he's not going to, you know, guard me for some reason. At the top of his head, he pulls it back. And then when he does that little backwards wrist motion is where you want to let go. Okay, check it out. Backwards wrist every time he pulls it back and then he does like a little extra pullback you guys see what i'm saying that's where you want to release it or close to that every single time and guys if you are delayed i see comments on my videos all the time especially jump shot videos oh i can't shoot with blah 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 because i'm delayed the number one way and the biggest reason why i haven't seen so much delay there's definitely delay in this game you see the quick shot right there i mean it it really does this boys it really does but the number one way to fight that delay this year is you know not getting better internet because obviously getting better internet is definitely step one but you know a lot of people I've, i used to have trash internet so i know how it feels man but a lot of people use the meter you see that i'm not using a jump shot meter meaning even if I'm delayed, I don't really see it. I don't really, it doesn't really throw off my shot that much because I'm just looking at my guy's actual hands and stuff. I'm not looking at a bar, all right? It is, and it will affect you a little bit with delay, but it's much less and a lot. I don't think any YouTuber I've watched, I don't watch a lot of 2K content or anything like that because I'm always grinding, you know what I'm saying? I don't got time for that, but I haven't seen a lot of YouTubers talk about that. I actually haven't seen anyone talk about that this year so make sure you guys turn off that meter unless you have an extremely low three-point rating you cannot you know you cannot not benefit from having it off once you learn how to do it you guys are going to thank me so much to give it 50 games give it 100 games if by then you just can't do it go back to the meter but i'm telling you guys having meter off not only gives you a a, a boost to your jump shots going in but with the delay and how 2k is especially even if you have perfect internet it's it's still going to be delayed that's just how 2k is every single year it's going to be more delayed than almost every single game you guys play hopefully next gen is a little bit different but you see this man's cooking up he's doing his thing i'm letting him shoot though i'm trying to get the ball back i'm trying to go crazy so you see i curry pull up and that's an easy green i have to make these shots right here because i can tell this dude knows what he's doing okay he did miss that shot but this dude definitely knows what he's doing like i said you can't green every shot so maybe he did fully bar that shot and it just didn't go in so i missed my first three of the game and i'm like okay and i foul right there so that's three tips so far in this video getting your jump shot boost learning your cue and taking that meter off i'm gonna give you all one more it's very you know it's very common knowledge but just a lot of people don't know there's a lot of people that's new and there's a lot of people that don't think it helps that much but the number four i'm going to give you all today because this is just a jump shot video but i you know i might as well give you guys tips as i'm teaching you how to use the shot as well is hot spots 
I have a video on my channel, you guys can go see it. It has around 200,000 views now on how to get your shooting badges fast. You might not need your shooting badges. You might just need hotspots. It's gonna do the exact same thing for you guys. Make sure you go watch that, okay? It literally only takes one game to get your hotspots. One. It depends on your build, obviously, and how you're shooting, but it only took me one game to get hotspots. Not in every single spot, but two games and three max. And you'll have every single one of your hotspots. And that is going to help you guys out a lot. Say that you have a 75 three point rating, right? You throw on jump shot boost. It makes it, let's say, it, it makes the percentage go up, not your rating, but let's say it goes up to 80. Then you have hotspots, it goes up to 85. Then you have the meter off, so you get to green more shots. Let's say that goes up to 87, okay? Now you have an 87 rating just from doing easy things if you've made it this far comment down below plug nation let me see some love in the comment section and also if you want to help someone out with a jump shot tip that i did not give out make sure to do that too drop a like if you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe button if you're new it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in and i'm out peace